Yes, he has won five Premier Leagues, a Champions League, four League Cups, and two FA Cups. And yes, people do still consider him one of the best young midfielders in the Premier League. But after the season he's having, is it time we start asking questions? Was Phil Foden just great as a youngster and has had his career padded by excellence around him? Or is he genuinely a world-class midfielder who still has a point to prove in world football? Well, let me talk about Phil Foden and dive deeper into his career and the season he's having and we can peel back the layers and see if Phil Foden is a fraud. He started his career extremely early and showed extreme potential as a 7 year old. In fact, Foden joined the youth academy of Man City at the age of 8. He progressed through the various age groups consistently impressing with his technical ability and football excellence. As a teenager, Foden was immense and it was common knowledge that he had a bright future. Foden made his first team debut for Man City in 2017 in a Champions League match against Feyenoord. At just 17 years of age, he became the youngest English player to start in a Champions League game for an English club. Foden made his Premier League debut for Man City on December 3, 2017 in a match against Tottenham Hotspur. He continued to feature in both domestic and international competitions for the club. Over the years, Phil Foden's game developed rapidly. He is known for his excellent dribbling, close ball control, vision, and ability to score goals from the midfield. His playing style has been compared to some of the greatest midfielders in the game. The 1920 season marked Foden's breakout season. He played a key role for Man City in the Premier League and all other competitions. He gained masses of experience, quick. Foden has also represented England at various youth levels and made his senior debut for the national team in September 2020. He has since become an important part of the English national team. Throughout his career, Foden has won numerous individual awards and accolades, including the PFA Young Player of the Year. He continues to be a vital player for Man City and is considered one of the brightest talents in English football. He's rated by most Premier League fans and is considered a top Premier League player. He now sits in a very comfortable position at Man City, with De Bruyne out, and now has a new teammate in Erling Haaland that he can provide many assists to. He has the dream environment as a midfielder, an excellent team around him, and there is not a weak point in the squad. But, after his dream entrance to football, Phil is now 23. People have started to raise eyebrows and ask questions about Phil. Is he being protected by all these world-class players around him, or is he still one of the top dogs of Man City? This Premier League season, he scored three and assisted three in 11 games. This is just over 800 minutes of football, and as an attacking midfielder, I think these numbers are quite average, considering he is playing for Man City and the standards that we have on Man City players. I mean, he's trying to fill some big shoes in De Bruyne. If we compare him to some similar players, let's say Brian and Buemo, he stands a lot lower than him in terms of numbers. And Buemo has 6 goals in 11 games compared to Foden's 3, and also 2 assists in a much weaker side. Another similar player to Foden is Leroy Sané, and look how good he's doing at the moment. 8 goals and 4 assists in 10 games this season. Even Jude Bellingham. All these players across the world doing extremely well with a very similar player profile to Foden. People have been expecting a lot from Foden since he was young, and now he's 23, people are expecting him to keep thriving, but I don't know if he's keeping up at that pace. Well, at least, that's what a lot of the football community think. Anyway, the reason I've made this video is because recently in football, I've been hearing a lot of negative talk about Phil Foden, and him being overrated and a fraud. But in fact, I'm gonna disagree. I think this is a common case of people overreacting when a player is not doing well. I think Foden is actually doing alright this season as well. It's hard to shine in a top team like Man City, especially with some of the quality players that they have, like Doku, Erling Haaland, Jack Grealish, Ederson. I could name so many top, top Man City players. So obviously it's likely that he'll go under the radar a little bit, and people will start asking questions about him, because there are many people to fill in the gaps for Foden's position. I actually think that Foden is quick, 
technically gifted, and since he's young, he can only get better, surely. Foden is not overrated. Phil Foden has already achieved more than many, many young English players of the past, and I think it's time people stop talking bad about Foden's name and accept he's one of the greatest attacking midfielders in the Premier League right now, and he's kept it up for very long. I mean, the guy has five Premier Leagues, a Champions League. What more's he got to do? But, anyway, now that's over with, thank you for watching this video, and let me know your thoughts in the comments about Phil Foden. Do you think he's overrated? Because I sure as hell don't. Now, I'll see you in the next one.